Chief Meteorologist Joel Barnes here. It's a little before 745. We're starting to see a lot of lightning. If you look to the west southwest of Jackson, the skies are lighting up. You can just see pretty much nonstop lightning as we've got now a line of significant severe thunderstorms. Pretty good news. Most of those supercells that were lined up when we had seven, eight tornadoes on the ground at one time just west of the Mississippi, they're starting to turn into more of a line, a linear segment, which was the what we were hoping for, which is the best news for us because we still have a high dew point tonight. It is still warm. We've still got rotation in the atmosphere. We're still under that high risk of severe weather tonight. Still a tornado, large hail winds threat, but uh, the middle of the high risk was right along and west of the Mississippi. And that's where again at one time they had eight tornadoes on the ground earlier. We still have an excessive flood threat tonight. This front is going to come on in, dump inches of rain, then it's going to stall out, bring more rain Thursday morning, and that rain chance is going to continue Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We've got a flood watch and flood warnings out for pretty much all the rivers from what they're expecting for the rain to come by. We still have tornado watch our tornado warnings tonight, but no confirmed tornadoes right now. And if you remember about an hour ago, there was seven or eight confirmed tornadoes, including a tornado emergency, but the line is still producing tornadoes. It's just for us here in West Tennessee. We've got severe thunderstorm warnings that have issued, but they've all been now severe thunderstorms. The tornado warnings, each one of these as they've been expiring, they've been replacing them with severe thunderstorm warnings. We do have our own severe thunderstorm warning. You're watching us in Martin. I think you got some hail on the way. Uh, we've got three little cells that are moving on up one near halls. Another one that went through Dyersburg and uh, right now the one uh, south of Dyersburg is uh, not severe thunderstorm warned, but it looks like it's got some uh, rain that is moving on up from the south. That is some hail on the way into Kenton. you got hail north of Rutherford, probably going to come up into Martin here east of Sharon, kind of put a little tracker on that. Um, there's our brand new scan, so now it's uh, just west of the Sharon area. But if you're in Martin, you got hail coming in. That's going to be real soon here in about uh, five, ten minutes. Um, if you've got a car in Martin, you can get it in the garage. I'd recommend doing that. Uh, that's some pretty, pretty decent hail showing up. All right, our main line off to the west here. Just one tornado warning with it to the northwest as this has now become a line and a significant wind event. Look, this is pretty much all straight line winds. We still do have that rotation. <coughs> looks like uh, west of Golden Lake and we had a large tornado on the ground come through Lake City. That's where we had that tornado emergency earlier. Um, down south, though, there's still some supercells that haven't been caught from the line yet. Up north, it's been it's turned into a line. We've still got this. This has to catch up. You still see some supercells up from the south tonight. These are the ones I'm a little bit more concerned about lasting a little bit longer. Maybe as they move into places like Cummington, maybe Brownsville. Um, there's a tornado warning out now. Uh, looks like for Dyersburg, so we may be going live on TV here real soon. So, um, but uh, down south, we've still got a couple of tornado warnings as well. But most of this is becoming to turn to a line. You still do see rotating storms, so just west of the Mississippi River. Um, but uh, we've got a, a tornado warning there. You see a little kink in the line. And then we've got, again, got our cell coming in uh, to Martin. So as this line does move through tonight, um, it is going to continue to track through. Look at all the supercells that are out in front of the main line. Eventually, they're going to get caught from the line. A lot of that's happening right now. Any of the tornado warn storms we had so far, there are no reports of any touchdowns or any tornado confirmations. But here's a look at the timing tonight with this line. Um, 10 o'clock, uh, moving through Alamo, Trenton. Um, by 11, 12, coming into Jackson. That's when we're going to pick up our greatest chance for some kinks along that line and extremely heavy rain, which is going to continue. Uh, Jordan, let's get the latest information on that uh, that tornado warning real quick. Uh, we do want to talk about that. Uh, that right. is for Dyersburg. So go ahead and hit that up real quick. All right, we'll pull this up real quick. Uh, for northeastern Mississippi County, Arkansas, southern Pemiscot, and southeast Missouri. Oh. So, we got all right, go Dyer ahead. County, southwestern Obion County, and Lake County all included in this. It's radar indicated rotation, but it's moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Uh, that does include the cities of Dyersburg, New Bern, both in the Polygon, Ridgely, Cloverdale, uh, and Obion County. Uh, also, I believe. Tiptonville, um, Real Foot Lake State Park, you're included in this. Sandburg, Hornbeak, uh, this does not include Trimble, uh, does include the community of Bogota, Broadmoor, Miston, Tenemo, Cottonwood Grove, Lenox, um, Big Boy Junction, Finley, uh, all in Dyer County, uh, some of the smaller places. This does include uh, the grain elevator right on the Mississippi River, uh, right along Interstate 155. Uh, Great River Road, all are included in this, of course, 
Uh, the main circulation is still in Mississippi County, Arkansas right now, but it is very close uh, to crossing the Mississippi River. Uh, if we will put a cone on this uh, that has the Mississippi River uh, coming in at about, let's see if it's moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. That's about 10 minutes away. If it's moving northeast, we'll put out a track for 40 minutes. Uh, and the most likely path, uh, Tyler at 750, that is in Missouri. Ayers on the Dyer County side of the Mississippi River at 757. Uh, Bogota at 811 and Lane at 816. All right, uh, real quick, we'll go back to Max 1. Uh, you did hear an alert that's for the severe thunderstorm warning that we're watching in Martin. There is large hail on the way for you folks in Martin. If you are living in Martin or Gardner over to Ralston, get your car in the garage if you can. That storm is showing up in the next five minutes. Um, as far as rotation in this storm, um, it's minimal, so that's why they've issued a uh, severe thunderstorm warning, um, but we are watching uh, for any potential spin-ups uh, coming on in into Martin. But right now the rotation's minimal, but the hail looks like it's at least quarter size. Um, here's the rotation for the Dyersburg tornado warning. That's uh, near Blytheville. That's uh, just started spinning up in the last couple of scans. That's why they issued it. Besides the tornado warning, which is issued because of this, which you, which you see, I'll show it to you uh, right here. This is the rotation. But this is some really strong straight line winds, uh, which is going to move on in regardless if uh, we get hit uh, with a tornado. So this is a dangerous storm. Um, we will not be going live on TV for Dyer County. That is not in our market. Uh, that is in Mem Memphis's television market. Now, if the tornado warning gets into Gibson Crockett, we will 100% jump in and cover it live on TV. And possibly uh, if uh, we get a confirmed tornado or if this is something more significant, we may jump in a little earlier. Uh, but we're going to do another Facebook Live hit at 8 o'clock. It's 745 right now. We'll be back in 15 minutes. Um, if a tornado warning happens in one of our counties, we'll break in and cover it. Um, if not, uh, we'll have another update at 8 o'clock and we'll prepare ourselves to get going live for maybe another three hours of coverage here in about 15 minutes.